Conspiracy theory links a Nostradamus prophecy to Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. This is today's article on Sputnik News. French astrologer, whose predictions keep coming true, for that's what a few people believe, they're his quadrants that basically you can translate into molding around events because they're so vague. But anyway, they, uh, he's made predictions that keep doomsday theorists busy for hundreds of years since he made them. He mentions volcanic fire, quote unquote, and an earthquake felt around the globe in the new city. I guess new city could also mean new countries. I don't know. Maybe a new country that had not existed when he was alive. For example, North America. Now, in his book of prophecies, the Brit a British tabloid claims some see hints of nationwide catastrophe in the United States in these century-old predictions. And world theorists have seen a warning about a looming devastation, eruption of earthquake in America in Nostradamus's 1555 Les Profites. The British outlet Daily Express claims, citing conspiracy theorists day uh, before its news. Newspaper points at the French medieval astrologer's verse, telling a story about an earthquake that shall concern particularly the western area of the new city, I guess towards the west of the new country of the United States is probably what he meant. Or you see how you can read things into this. The western area of the new city with the power felt in lands throughout the whole globe and volcanic fire from the middle of the earth. Meaning, of course, a mantle plume coming up to the hot spot under Yellowstone. Right? So, a volcanic fire from the middle of the earth which causes trembling around the new city. It alleged that the new city can be a reference to the continent discovered by, of course, Christopher Columbus shortly before Michel de Nostradam made his grim prophecy. The British tabloid Express UK, citing conspiracies from before its news, explained that global tensions and natural disasters might be signs of the catastrophe foretold by Nostradamus some 500 years ago. The website says it's time to shift the world into a state of preparedness, not conflict. The age of the great floods has begun. It's not going to stop. If the leadership of your country is not promoting a universal state of preparedness, perhaps it's time to find new leadership." End quote. It also points to the omens of the looming end days and Bible prophecy, especially the book of Revelation passage about a huge mountain, a all ablaze thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea turning into blood. The huge mountain, yes, that's uh, the seals of the angels in uh, Revelation chapter 8. And uh, after that, it's also the... Uh, the bright uh, sun, the sun from the great sun from the sky, a great bright sun from the sky falling to earth. So the, before the sun is the mountain falling into the sea. Uh, now according to the interpretation cited by the Daily Express, it might be referring to Yellowstone. If the region if, of course erupts with no sulfur dioxide emissions could kill 87,000 people, making most parts of the U.S. uninhabitable, casting it into what is called a volcanic winter or a nuclear winter. Additionally, it could also be a drastic climate change for the whole world. And the article also says that the odds of an eruption are meager, according to the United States Geological Survey. It says that even the chance of an asteroid hitting Earth and annihilating civilization is greater than Yellowstone super eruption.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.